I can't believe the International Tennis Federation will not release the list of players who were given out of competition drug tests for 2010. Why does this matter? They have done so the previous seven years. But they test at tournaments. Isn't that enough? No. The majority of doping is done out of competition. The players can train longer and harder. They can get the drugs out of their system before the tournaments and still get the benefits of the drugs. I am sure everything is okay. No, it's not. Last year a quarter of the players missed out of competition tests. This includes the Williams sisters, Federer, Nadal, Sharapova, Rodic and Del Patro. The International Tennis Federation quickly removed this information from their website. Maybe the players weren't home. They can't be locked up 24 hours a day. They only have to give one hour of availability per day. If their plans change, they can easily update their whereabouts. Nobody should ever miss a test. This still proves nothing. None of them have failed a test. Marion Jones never failed a test and we all know she was using performance enhancing drugs. Besides, what about Andre Agassi? He failed a test for a crystal meth and told authorities that he had a spiked drink. They believed him and never released this information to the public. Oh yeah, I remember that. Are you suggesting a player could fail a steroid test, claim it was an accidental ingestion and the authorities would drop the case and never release this information? If they did that for Agassi, they'd do it for other players. Would doping really help a tennis player? I thought it was more a sport of skill and hand-eye coordination. Tennis is more physical than ever. So of course it would help them. Even some table tennis players dope. Now that I think about it, some of the women make the East German women's swim team look like anorexic Barbie dolls. And some of the men run around like the energies of bunny for five sets and never look tired. Exactly. But most fans will never believe their favorite players are taking drugs. If the authorities have it their way it will stay that way.